Let me ask you a question. If you showed up drunk to a job interview, would you blame the interviewer or the company for not giving you the job? You wouldn't, but these women think they deserve the best despite being pretty much the worst. Take a look. I'm 40 years old and I feel like dating is eight zillion times worse than like high school or, or like my, my 20s. And let me tell you something, dating in my 20s was a disaster. It was horrible. Men were awful. Boys, boys were awful. And this is so much worse. It is so much worse. Uh, what happened to you guys between, you know, 18 and 40? Like, d I mean, I don't understand. Don't you love, guys, how it's like, it's always the men's fault. What happens? Why did men change? Men really haven't changed, guys. It's, to be honest with you, it's a lot of the modern women who have changed. Okay, if you would like to have a traditional man, the best way to get a traditional man is by being a traditional woman. Unfortunately for a lot of girls, guys, when they go out there and they try and get married after, you know, they're covered in tattoos, they're 40 years of age and they're single, they find out that the traditional men are not interested. Does she have youth? No. Is she innocent and pure? No. And most importantly, does she want to look for solutions? No. And let's not forget all the piercings, tattoos, etc. That girl doesn't look like the type of girl you'd marry or date. She won't give you kids or peace of mind, just a ton of baggage and problems. She said her teenage years and 20s in the dating scene were horrible. Well, has she acknowledged any pattern among the men she dated? No. How come? It's always the man's fault, even if she freely chose to sleep and spend time with him. Jokes aside, if she falls for that kind of guy one time, it's fine. But she sounds like she fell multiple times without revising her belief system. That's the level of delusion you gotta deal with. To make matters worse, she doesn't look like she's taken a break from dating. Instead, she might have gone from relationship to relationship until she collected more rebounds than Dennis Rodman and Shaquille O'Neal combined. Let's take a look at the comments. If you want the right person to be in your life, then be the right person. This girl probably knows that one is the sum of the five people they spend the most time with, but she probably decided to pick bad people and allowed bad boys to hit for free. The biggest tragedy is that she still hasn't realized, by the age of 40, that she's the problem. She's 40 and probably has a house, car, and job, but doesn't manage to understand why she's single. She had almost half a century to heal her trauma and become a better person, but instead, she prefers blaming men. Nose ring, big hoops, shoulder tattoo, and 40. She's about to form Captain Red Flag. And that's the best comment I've seen in a while. If Red Flag existed, that woman would probably be the person behind the costume. And who knows how many bodies she's got. After all the empowerment by showing her body on the internet, this woman looks ashamed of her occupation. Take a look. I think OnlyFans empowers you. Is it empowering for you, Miss Saudi Arabia? It's very empowering. Okay. Uh, why is yes. it empowering? I am Haram. very proud of myself. Haram. 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 Okay. Uh, women don't want consequences for poor decisions. If you sexualize yourself as a woman, nine out of ten times, every man you deal with is going to sexualize you as well in reciprocation. A man can um, objectify you unless you objectify yourself first. Well, you can be sexually free, but don't sit there and expect people to respect you. They're not going to. Uh, Shorty's crying. Probably. Know, yeah. And here's the thing, that's sexual like empowerment for you. Yep. When, when you can't speak about her. what you do openly and you, you feel a certain way, it, it goes back to the biology, man. Women know deep down that, yo, it, this is not acceptable for me to be doing this shit. Like, it, it, they know it deep down. That's why there's a reason why when a guy, guy asks a girl, what's your body count, whatever, they hesitate. They don't want to say it. There's a reason why when girls say, I do OnlyFans or whatever it may be, they're kind of hesitant to say it. Right? Some girls I, might say I, it out I, loud, but deep down, if you meet a man of your dreams, you ain't going to tell him that shit. And that's a big ass epiphany moment. You see, she tried to feel empowered by showing her body on the internet, but she ended up regretting her decision. The reality is that if a woman objectifies herself, men will hardly try to know her for her charming personality, background, and whatnot. They will just objectify her as well. The pill was so hard to swallow for her that she had to leave the studio. And yeah, it's all haram. She might have thought of her family and who knows if she'll be disowned. The reality is that men won't consider her wife material no matter how hot she is. Plus, men prefer a modest woman over a model whose pics are circulating all over the internet. Let's take a look at the comments. 
So much for empowerment, used to deal only with simps, shows how easily their feelings and confidence are broken by raw truth. I couldn't agree more. Once a man with standards speaks the truth, the delusion is gone. She should have listened to her dad instead of disgracing her family name. Her dad and maybe her entire family encouraged her to be modest, but she preferred being the first Saudi bikini model. It's all very empowering, right until you realize that men just want you for your body. That other girl is like, haram, haram, like she's doing a good thing. The Saudi girl left because she knew she messed up with everything that she's doing. She probably heard the word haram and started to feel guilty. Deep down, she knew she was doing something wrong. The fact that she cried and left the show is proof of that. You date a woman, and at first it's all good. However, the tiniest of mistakes is an excuse to dump you. This is why you go within, hit the gym, and do the work to get over her. At some point, she'll probably come back, especially if she's aware that your value has gone up while hers has gone down. Oh my god, why is she calling me, bro? It, the devil's calling me, bro. Like, the devil wants me to answer right now, bro. What's going on? How are you? I think the answer to that question is, uh, never. Are you dodging me? Yes, I am. <laughs> Why? Because I'm working on myself, I'm becoming a better version of myself, and now all of a sudden you want to come back and swoop in. No. We haven't been just friends forever. Yeah, we're buddies. Now look, buddy, you are my friend, I got you, uh, but that is all we will ever be. Wow, I can't believe I just got fucking rejected, this is crazy. You did. Alrighty, get off my phone now, goodbye. <laughs> Can modern women get more selfish than this? Not at all. Well, maybe during a divorce, but that's a whole nother story. Society has allowed women to dump men once they see the smallest sign of weakness. Trying to work things out and supporting faithful men? No, these hoes ain't loyal and will never do any of that. Social media is a kind of double-edged sword because it might make you want to see what your ex is up to, which is a very bad move, or it can help you confirm that you need to stick to your current lifestyle. Once you get over a cheating ex, she'll probably come back to you and test you. She'll use all sorts of emotional and manipulation tactics to make you fall. However, Aiden Ross has rejected her in front of thousands of viewers. I can't believe I just got fucking rejected, she said. Well, bitch, somebody gotta do that so you learn your lesson. As Aiden said, the devil was calling. No better description for a woman who dumped you but calls you out of nowhere. Let's take a look at the comments. If she doesn't want you at your lowest, she doesn't deserve you at your best. Y'all replies got me thinking. I meant it in the way, if she doesn't want you on your bulk, she doesn't deserve you on your cut. Sorry for misunderstandings. A woman should support you at all times, but if she decides to dump you when you face difficulties, she doesn't deserve your attention. She can be a bad woman and use stupid manipulation tactics with other men. This is literally amazing and soothing to the soul. Go ahead, Aiden, from a boy to a man. That's the process you probably went through after a breakup. Once you get your life together, prepare because all the hoes that dumped you can come back and take you back to hell. Rejecting women is the first sign of being mature. Men are in general so needy and sexless that they accept breadcrumbs. However, when you know what you want, you can easily reject a woman no matter how hot she is. If she's been disloyal or has a certain past, you choose not to take her. Only when you have a child do these modern day women realize the importance of having a man. You know, it's all good when they let the bad boy hit for free right until they get pregnant. From that point onwards, the woman goes back to her primal gender roles and wants a provider and protector. Well, guess what? The baby's daddy is nowhere to be found anymore, and no man wants to wife up a single mommy. Look, I have a kid. I used to be like that until I had my kid. Now that I have my kid, like I might be this, oh, I'm a boss, bitch, da, da, da. but deep down in my heart, I would do absolutely anything to be at home and be like always with my child. There you go. But unfortunately, and I And have can't. a man protect you. Stop acting like, stop, stop leaving out the man part. Right. Yeah. Because for you to be home with your child, that means you got a man exactly. holding yeah. you down. Yeah. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he's right. And that shit's hard. Like, 
But unfortunately, since I'm by myself, I gotta hustle, you know. Yeah. But I would do anything to have a man like. That's what we say. That's exactly. Yo, God, yo, God, 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 thank you. God bless you. God bless you for telling the fucking truth. God bless you for telling the truth. Talking about Instagram over a real nigga. You choose Instagram over a man. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. unfortunately, like that's a platform where I can make a living off, and nobody's helping me because I don't have that protector yet. You get me? So you don't think a man could provide and protect you? Yeah, but I just haven't found that guy yet. And that's what we say. That's what we say. That's what we say. Hold on. How can how come women can't just say, "Listen, I want a man," instead of acting like y'all don't want a man and just want to be boss bitches? Right. That's what we say. Nobody said that. Like y'all said, said no one interrupted. Nobody said that. Like y'all said after you go uh she has a, she wants to clarify her point. i just want to clarify because oh. i feel like it's getting oh, okay, turned go ahead, go ahead. okay oh. no, sorry go ahead. Oh. put the camera on her who you, you. cash girl like y'all said <laughs> um you're right and i've been trying to talk but myron don't let me but i really respect myron and you can't I didn't, finish your sentence because because <laughs> it's hard for me to explain but i respect the fuck out of you and i and i give you your right because you're right that is true mm -hmm. what you're saying is true and i respect you and i respect everything that you've done this whole part like just I make really your point please the point is that yeah like uh i haven't found the protector because me no, I don't know the point already. Because you want to stay at home with your child. You want a See, man to take care of everything. This is why I so cut you off. He can take I know care of you. All right, go ahead. Please say what you were going to say. So what I had said got twisted. I'm not saying that I don't want a man. Like, I, you know, I would love a happy marriage. I would love that. But I don't think, I think there's a big difference between want and need. And I think as a person, you shouldn't need anyone. You should want them in your life. I'm really glad you brought this up. We had a discussion about this the other day. The problem is that women want a man. No, you fucking need a man. You need to operate like you need one. And I'll tell you why. Only in modern true. day times. Well, from a biological standpoint, it's, it's happily single. Because uh, you mean like as far as like children? Yeah, she's said happily single too. Mm. Here's the thing: <laughs> from a biological standpoint, women do need men, and I know they get mad when I say that. But a woman cannot take care of herself and her child on her own until recent times. But the problem is that. But, but, you're, you, but you agree that right now that they can. They can, but, but here's the thing: social up. constructs <laughs> don't adhere to reality. A woman can get a degree and make more money, etc. But guess what? Let's say you make a hundred thousand dollars a year. How much do you want your man to make? 101. Mm. At least on your level, correct? Yep. I think the man should be able to equally contribute. Yes, ideally. Oh, Fantastic. Shit. Thank you. Gotcha. That proves my point that even from even though you have your security taken care of, you will not deal with a man unless he can add an I didn't additional say level. I wouldn't. I Shout said out to I the would Godfather ideally like. Let me let me ideally like. <laughs> that would be ideal. Well, congratulations. That's you and every other woman. Women want a man at least on their level, if not better. Even if they're able to provide their own level of security, they will not entertain or deal with a man unless he can provide some level of security as well. Why is that? Because women are hardwired to look for a man that can provide security. So what I'm simply saying is that you can go ahead and provide for yourself. That's true, but you can't beat your biology. That, that you still want a man who's superior can. and you can't, just because you can doesn't mean it's optimal. Just because it's capable does not mean it's optimal. I can send 20,000 women into war and I can do that. It's capable. Is it optimal? No, I'd rather send 20,000 men to war. Why? Because men are biologically superior to women from a physicality standpoint. So just because you can doesn't mean it's the best. And my thing is this. Women say, I don't need a man. You actually do. Biologically rooted to need a man. The problem is that women want a man. And when you want, you're not going to go as hard. If I go to the gym and I need to get in shape and I need to fucking look good, I'm going to go ahead and do everything required. But if I simply want to do it, I'm going to go to the gym half ass and have a pizza here or there. I'm not going to take it as seriously. And that's where a lot of modern day women are. They think, I make money. I don't need a man. I want one. Well, guess what's going to happen? That guy wants some sex. He's going to get it from you and then move on to the next bitch. So you need to move with a purpose. A lot of girls think, I just want one. Well, you're not going to take it seriously when you just want one. You need one. Yep. Well yeah, said. And that's how you got to move. And you did say that I'm happily single happily and then single. I could be a CEO. Which was insinuating no, 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 and a boss I, I, bitch. I, I, you said it, boss I bitch. did it. I said it was insinuation that you don't need a man, and therefore being a CEO would be equal happiness to no, no, no. having a man. The, in your the life. question mm. was, he said that if, basically what he had said was that, oh, if you don't get married and you don't have this man, like you're not going to make it. And I said that's not true. You could. There are basically what you were saying was that if you're not pretty, you're screwed. I did not say that. I simply said was that not uh, the just the metric of, the of successful am woman? I, am I mister? No, 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 no. no. I it? said the metric of successful woman. Is the point of wanting versus needing a man is excellent. These women need men whether they like it or not. Just take a look at society's infrastructure. But you know, these chicks think those kinds of conveniences came out of thin air. Let's take a look at the comments. I do OF because I have to make money and nobody's helping me. 
zero accountability, and major entitlement. She chose to have a child out of wedlock and thinks someone should be helping her. Men don't think or expect that anyone should be helping them. If we did, people would think we were bums. The fact that OF, in her mind, is the only way she can make money proves she offers nothing and should be objectified. You are what you are. Own it. You know that modern women and the word accountability don't go well together. Just remember, she's crying because she might have to settle for you. Just like Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, she will probably have to settle for an average Joe making quote-unquote little money. Sorry, not sorry. The high-value men will still enjoy their particular abundance of women where single moms are not allowed. It's important for every man to watch several of these podcasts. It will help you avoid the women that will destroy your life. They don't cry for what they did, but for the consequences of what they've done. Yeah, the bedroom fund was a huge dopamine booster, but having a child out of wedlock is a pain in the neck and somewhere else. Some women and even simps are so insane that they do anything to protect their ideologies. Do you know these bigots who support whatever their political party does just because it's their party and not the opposition? You know what I'm talking about. That's why most modern women would pick feminism over lower gas prices even though they're losing tons of money. However, this woman thinks differently. Protect feminism or low gas prices? Um, I guess low gas prices because ever since the feminist movement, it's been a lot harder for me to find a guy to pay my bills. And all of a sudden I have to work and I have to do all these things. And I honestly don't want to work. I would rather stay in the kitchen. Mind you, I need some cooking classes, but I think I could take a couple cooking classes and make somebody really happy. Okay, that was actually like so sweet at the end. That seemed very genuine. I thought the first part of like, oh, I just want a guy to pay my bills. Like that's a, um, yeah, but also... I mean, valid point. There was a time when women did not have to work. I mean, they could if they wanted to, but these days, like somebody commented and said, yeah, let's go back to a world where the normal couple can live off of one income. Blame the government and their taxes. That is the reason why we cannot. Somebody else said, I'm actually sad the comments are saying this is the woman they want. Wow. Men want a woman who will cook for them and, you know, turn their house into a home. That is shocking. Some chicks cannot believe that still some men want women who will cook for them and turn their houses into homes. But yeah, that's what men want. Do men want combative, argumentative, obnoxious, loud women? Hell no. You'd rather stay single. A woman should be an asset to your life and not just a gold digger who stays with you just because you've got some money in the bank. The interviewed woman confessed what most women know deep down. Ever since feminism became a thing, plus the astronomical taxes and cost of living, it's really hard to live off one income. Consequence? Women gotta work too, so they get exposed to lots of masculine energy for the most part, make some money, and believe they need no men. But shockingly, she admitted that she just can't find a man who would pay her bills while she's cooking some meals for him. And as she says, she will make her man really happy just by doing that. Men are fairly simple, and after working long hours, the last thing you want to do is argue over a toilet seat up. Most men don't come back home and have a woman who has made dinner for them. That's the sad reality. But at least there are some women willing to do this to please a man and quit their jobs. Let's take a look at the comments. She knows herself to point out her own flaws. She's a real one for sure. A woman like that is very scarce. Most women out there think they're tens when they're the most average or even below average women you can think of. When a man has flaws, he just gotta work to remove them. But when a woman has flaws, she's told to just accept herself and call out the men who don't want her just the way she is. The last part, but I think I could take a couple cooking classes and make someone really happy, is really sweet. Relationships should be a fair exchange of value and not just the woman extracting resources from a man. If you're providing for your woman, the least she can do for you is cook you a good meal. And trust me, that will make you more happy than a chick with bedroom skills but nothing else to offer. I love that she's like, I want a guy to pay my bills and I'm willing to work for that. And that's the point. Want a high value man that provides for her? 
She's got to do the work, aka be a homemaker, listen to him, and find the common good instead of her selfish interests. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content. Like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to check out the pinned comment below and vote on the poll. Peace.